Okay, 5-2, old hero. This is my least favorite stage in the entire game of Demon's Souls. I don't know why, I just hate this one. I'd rather do 5-2. Well, maybe not, but... I really don't like this stage, and I don't like the boss. A lot of people don't have a hard time <clears throat> with old hero, but I do, and I just don't like him. Alright, so I'm gonna skip the first Reaper. Everybody farms him for souls to level up in the early game. So do a little trick right there, make those guys roll off to their death, get free souls, hack this silver guy up with the arrow, and then up here comes these gold skeletons, so this is the part where it gets challenging. Not that it isn't already, but gold skeletons everybody... Has. I really wish that their sword was available. I wish they could drop their sword. So I just homing soul arrow them up. Alright, so... Now we have to look for that second reaper. There's an, Every time you see the phantom things that shoot stuff or try to hit you and they look transparent like this guy right here... You know there's a reaper somewhere, because the reaper summons these things. So I'm going to take this one out because it's blocking my path. And notice we're working our way down to a tomb. Because it's obviously some kind of catacomb place. This world, I don't understand the theme. The theme of this world... Oh, there's the second reaper hiding behind that guy, so just knock him down. He'll actually land way down there by old hero. And and he'll die, so all his spawns will die. But yeah, this world, the theme makes no sense. It's like samurai, honor, grim reapers, phantoms, uh, tombs, uh, and sea creatures flying in the air. Yeah, manta rays. I don't understand it. It's like the, the level design of this world is off the charts in terms of the imagination. Somebody did not let their imagination be contained. But I really don't like this stage. So there's the third Reaper. So there's three in total. Sometimes he'll try to shoot you, so listen for it and dodge roll. Otherwise you might die. Because his little... I don't know what that attack is. It looks kind of like a soul arrow. It does a lot of damage. So here's the slug nest and those little orbs that blow up if they detect you. So I'm just going to skip the entire slug nest. There's a lot of pretty good items, including the, I think it's the Uchigatana. But, okay, so I'm entering the tomb for Old Hero. And on Old Hero, I, even though he's blind, okay, this boss, Old Hero, is blind. Don't let that make you think that, don't let that underestimate you, him, or don't, don't feel sorry for him, because he doesn't feel sorry for you. So I always use a Thief's Ring, because if you don't use a Thief's Ring, Old Hero, one little step you make, one little spell you cast, he will hear you and lock onto you and run at you and attack you. So just use Thief's Ring, it'll make it harder for him to detect you with his hearing. So, uh, yeah, see, Old Hero, the thing about him, he's blind, so he has to listen for you. But to compensate for him being blind, the game designers made his attack incredibly high. So he does more damage than Flame Lurker and Maneater and Dirty Colossus. And he has higher defense than those guys too. Notice my homing soul arrow, which by now is stronger than it was when I took on Maneater and uh, Dirty Colossus in those previous videos. Notice that it does very little damage in comparison to him. Well, actually, never mind. I didn't even have homing solar when we fought man here. But to fight Old Hero, use Deep Spring and just dodge and run away. And there's that Grim Reaper from earlier, the one that I knocked down. 